OK, so with this problem, uh, we could be faced with having to solve an inequality by using logarithms. We have 2 to the n is greater than 50 to the 132. Okay. Now, in order to solve an inequality like this, um, you might be thinking, well, I can work out 50 to the 132 on my calculator and then just do it by trial and improvement. The only problem is that 50 to the 132 is a very very large number and it is far larger than the calculator can actually work with okay so that idea goes out the window I'm afraid so we can use logarithms to simplify this problem so we're going to take logarithms of both sides so log of 2 to the n will be greater than log of 50 to the 132. When you take logarithms of both sides, the inequality still holds. Okay. Now, at this point, we can then use log laws to simplify this. The n can be brought down to the front here, so we can have n log 2, and we can bring the 132 down to the front here, so 132 log 50. We can then divide both sides by log 2, now we need to be careful when we do this because when we divide and multiply by numbers with an inequality, the uh, the inequality sign may change around, and that will happen if this number is negative. So we quickly check log two press equals. Is it negative? No, it's 0 0.301. Okay, to three decimal places. So I can divide through by log two and not have to worry about. Uh, that sign changing. So we've got 132 log 50, so 132 times log of 50, and then divide that by log of 2. And what we get is that n needs to be greater than 744.9890171, etc. And so, the smallest possible integer that satisfies that inequality is n is 745, the next integer along from that number. Okay? And that's how we can solve this inequality.